Oh, here I am at Diego Bisbo Academy and Harvey Grassy Muay Thai. Just got in some killer pad work. Oh man, shout out to the big homie Rob, Rob Shermer. Home pads for me. Excellent rounds. Excellent rounds, making me work, keeping me honest. Refusing to just let me slack whatsoever. You really need training partners like that. You need a strong team pushing you, motivating you, keeping you going. And uh, I really feel blessed to have that here. Shout out to Diego Bisbo Academy, Harvey Grassy Muay Thai. SFL 42, January 31st. You better tune in. First off, thanks for that pad session. That was nuts. Um, but yeah, I just want to kind of go over, you know, fears. A lot of people have a fear of fighting. A lot of people have a fear of confrontation. And, you know, being a martial artist or a mixed martial artist, you have to completely just put that fear to the side because you're signing up to get into a fist fight. That's probably the, the number one question I get the most is how do you manage the fear? Or how do you overcome the fear? So for you, you've had plenty of fights already. Mm -hmm. what, for you, what, what, A, what is your biggest fear and then what do you do to overcome it? To be honest, the fear, the fear of the fight um, is, is a good tool to have. And I, I've made the mistake of not being fearful in fights and just um, overconfident. So you need to use that fear. You need to take that fear of not wanting to lose or not wanting to get hurt or whatever it is and use that as, as fuel for your fire to fight. If you don't have that fear, it's easy to be complacent. Mm -hmm. And if you get complacent, you get killed. Mm -hmm. So use that fear, harness it, channel it, you know, respect it. I think for me, my biggest fear, my number one fear is letting down my coaches, letting down my teammates, my friends, and my family. Yeah, I think that's the number one thing I'm afraid of, is <laughs> is showing up and just not doing them justice. Yeah, it's funny, as a fighter, you don't fear getting knocked out, or at least I don't. I don't fear getting hit. I fear disappointing my, my friends, my coaches, my teammates, everyone, you know? I got submitted in my last fight. That's the biggest fear of my life, dude. Mm -hmm. I just let down Diego, you know, Professor Diego. Like that, that to me, hurts worse than, than any punch or strike I've ever taken in the cage. Yeah, so that's... Well, you didn't let anyone down. You fought your ass off. Appreciate that, bro. You definitely fought your ass off. So I had someone ask me in the comment section, they, were, they asked me about street fights and if I had any, and if so, did that help me you know, does that help me manage my fear of taking an MMA fight? And for me, the answer is no. Like, I feel like street fight's completely different. Yeah. For me, to minimize the fears, it's it's you do that through training. You do that through trusting your coaches, trusting yourself. Oh, yeah. And if you train the way you know you're supposed to, and you fully believe you put everything into your camp, the fear is, is very minimized. It'll always be there. Yeah. But as long as you know you did everything you could, I mean, the, the, I don't want to say the fight should be easy, but training should be way harder than the fight itself. Absolutely. Dude, fight night is a, is a break from training. Cool, man. Rob, appreciate you as always. Yeah, dude, appreciate you. Follow Rob on Instagram. Give him your Twitter or your, your Instagram handle. My Instagram is RGSBJJ7. And yeah, follow for follow. So if you follow me, I'll follow you back. Marshall Shermer. What's good, bro? Just got done with some gi. Diego Bispo Academy. Dude's a stud. No bullshit. But uh, he was doing gi while his brother was putting me through the uh, hellacious pad round. Rounds? Pad rounds. But uh, yeah, I was just talking to your brother about uh, fears and like how, how they manage them. So what's what would you say your biggest fear is leading up to an MMA fight and what do you do to manage it? Probably gassing out would be one of the biggest fears. Mm -hmm. um, for obvious reasons, because a lot could go wrong. They say fatigue makes cowards of us all, so yeah, I definitely get that. Exactly. So, 
definitely making sure my cardio is straight and my diet, because your diet plays into, uh, you're fogging up the lens. All that Sorry. sexiness is fogging up the lens. Your diet plays into your um, cardio, if you didn't already know that, so I just try to really take care of my, my diet and train a lot and do all kinds of exercises with my personal trainer, which is also his personal trainer. Andrew Del Carmen. Yeah, Del Carmen Fit, at Del Carmen Fit. Uh, he keeps us in shape. Yeah, biggest fear, gassing out and having a dude just beat on me and not being able to do a damn thing. That's good points, man. I definitely appreciate it. Look at this guy's physique. Are you kidding me? Bro, I'm stop it. <laughs> shredded, son. He's fucking shredded. Abercrombie and Fitch model or something. Follow me at underscore Marshall underscore art underscore I know, but just pretend they're spaces. Who Marshall gave, Art. Who gave you that? Who gave you that? My that boy handle? right here. Hey. <laughs> It's a family thing. Yeah, dog, you gotta be in it. <laughs>